Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Aether Genesis New Horizons modded. In the last video, Shinodrium reached level 12. Well, on his way to becoming the best druid we've ever used, maybe. He was lucky enough to get a summoned water elemental spell with combined with his level up of summoning three. That is very nice for him. He is looking very impressive. We're coming down here in order to do a battle against a horde of shamans, which I think we should be able to handle without too much difficulty given our spells. We're still lacking any real AoE except for the Cloud of Terror. We'll just have to see how tough that battle will be. We probably won't be using it, but uh, we'll see. Slit is level seven, and he's walking into a place to kill something. I don't know what he's. I don't know what you're doing, Slit. But I think I'm all set up. It took us quite a to be quite a bit to get to the ending of the last video, so <laughs> we'll get through that last turn. So here we go. The hero Slit has approached the deserted ruins of a city of the ancients. Often an ancient artifact or some treasures hidden by the current occupants of the ruins can be found in such places. Scouting has revealed that the ancient ruins are not as deserted as they may have appeared at first sight. Five enemies, Imp, Spawn, and Demonologist. We can totally annihilate them. I should take both hills to stop the enemy from taking it. Let's provide a guard on this side. Because I have a hunch he's going to start here with his other imps and so on down on this side. We don't need sabotage for this battle. Okay, there he is. So, uh, the imps will probably not provide them, make themselves good targets for my spearmen. Or I highly doubt it they will. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm beginning to babble. So, we can kill him, probably. Yes, we can. So we do 12 damage and we ignore 3 points of enemy's armor. So we should kill him on a hit. However, I know the game has... Or now I know the game has... A, it has some, like, randomness to it. So we don't always inflict 12 points of damage. So we're going to guarantee the kill by increasing our damage to 18 points of damage. Since that is well within the range. And we is the kill... The Demonologist. Now, as for you guys, let's do this and see what they decide to do. Ah. Okay, let's shift you guys all up here and hurl spears. We should kill this one. Nope. We did not. Let's kill the imp here. Heal this guy. Kill this imp. And end our turn. Alright, you have to move down. We don't want that guy being struck. You move down two as well. And you move down two. Move you up one. Move you one. It's that this way we can heal you. And we should be able to kill this with a single powerful shot as well. Plus one counterattack. Master Taylor. We've, we've learned this building. That's a sh I don't think we built a tailor, so that's not going to help us whatsoever. And then the Call of Darkness. Raises a powerful undead from the grave to join the hero's army. There must be enough space in the hero's army. This can raise up to a tier 3 undead. So we need another slot for our druid. And then that will be a really nice addition for him. 201 bucks and 13 crystals. Snowdream, let's have you kill the horde of shamans. Hopefully that will level you. Slit. Can probably do another battle here. Pack of ratmen. Buildings. Let's build a mill. Guards. Let's keep. Let's place down some guards. Finally, in my home province. Put the adventurers here. As for our buildings, let's finally build that shooting ground, and we'll grab these bowmen. That provides access now to a fort for our tier two units. And actually, we we did build that store, so we we can come all the way down here to build tier three. 
um, cloth items. That would give us access to a mantle, suede boots, silk gloves, and the ranger's cloak. The ranger's cloak combined with the ranger's cap would give us plus five province exploration. And the boots, I think that would be, the, that's the next level of Tanner store, which we don't have access to yet. Still, this is now tempting. I don't think we have any cloaks either. We don't, but to be fair, the rings are also very tempting. I'll make up my mind in a bit. We're not building this store this turn anyway. All right, let's end the turn. Your slit has reached the entrance of, to the sewerage. It doesn't seem to be abandoned. The many traces of the local residents remove any doubts. While you decide to leave or stay, they arrive. Let's kill them. Okay, I don't want to be directly across from the Ratmen, because they can reach me quickly and I have to deal with more of their units. We can funnel them to us by starting down here. Let's do this. We can move here, put you here. My plan will be to move him out one, and these two down one to form a spear wall. While our ranger moves down one and casts haste on himself for some stamina regen, we move, hit, we move her up to heal the warriors that will take hits. And I think I would like to slow them down, so we'll raise that false alarm. Let's do the plan. Move you down. Move you down. Cast haste. Move you up, and we're good. Nice. Right, you two can kill that rat before it ever gets close. We'll move you into the swamp. So you can lend some support in fighting that rat. And we'll damage that one. Okay, let's powerful shot. Throw a single spear, which I know we have. And, oh, he won't die. He won't die to a single hit. Plus one command, very nice. Ooh, diplomacy to begin getting shop prices down. Plus this could be useful for grabbing holy lands into our army for free. Or pathfinding. I'm not really, if, I don't really need scouting three. F Race false alarm I find is, I think is much more powerful than poison the water. Let's grab a point of pathfinding for that forest knowledge. We can maybe take this if it shows up again in the future. Oh, although, Tim, if you get a warrior, diplomacy would make the chainmail armors cheaper. Grab this instead. Grab diplomacy. Counterattack. A temple and a hat. 183 bucks and 16 gems. Temples are not very useful for us at this moment. Oh, well, I guess it could be. Population plus one. It's because of restoration of unit hit points by 10%. Reduces corruption by 50%. Reduces the risk of an attack by undead and demons in the province. There are a few undead lands, I think, over here. I saw one, at least. The Hero Shinodrium has approached to the deserted ruins of the City of the Ancients. Oh, we've read this already. Ten enemies. Ghost Whisper, Wolf, Spirit, Conjurer. We've done a battle like this before. We'll do a battle like this again. Alright, I think... I want to do this. It's going to be tricky, Tim. We have space in the forest. Let's put you here. Put you here. And that should be good. Let's start. And I think... Can I kill them with an ice chunk? Okay, what do, we, what do we want to do, Tim? What do you want to summon? Where do you want to put it? We probably, we probably should. Well, we could. First off, we could use Cloud of Terror. Um, but I, also, I, don't, I don't think we need it. The resistance is such that we might not even. This guy might run off, but these two will probably not. 
And I don't care if they fight more ineffectively, it's these totems I'm more worried about. Let's summon an eagle. We'll summon it down here. I can have it rush over here and just kill this guy. Actually, no, it won't kill him, Tim. Oh. Yes, it will. Oh, it has charged. No wonder it will. All right, good job. Oh, did we read about the giant eagle? I think we did. Huge birds that usually nest in the mountains. They can pose a serious threat in great flocks. Fast and strong, they're able to use their beaks and claws on creatures even larger than themselves. As for the wolves... Let's move you up one. Move you one up. You can move two and kill. One up. Down, and that's good. We're enraged! I like it! You do decent damage to him by attacking him. Now, these two totems I'm really worried about. Let's take this. And we'll lightning totem. This way they can't do significant damage with these two totems to my army. Next! Help the eagle out a little bit, because you're going to kill this one. Oh, well, I'm sorry, that one will still die. Move you one, move you up. The question is, do I want you to attack? If I attack with you, you will be attacked. We'll take an 11, an 8, and a 4. You can take that those hits, and then we can and then we can uh, heal you. Let's do it. Let's pull you back, Mr. Spider. Move you up one. Move you up one. Oh, I uh, move you back one. You're hurt, Mr. Spider. Sorry about that. Weaken that guy a bit. Put you in the swamp. Rest you. Rest you. Back down here so you can rest. Move you up one. That's fine. As for you, sir. Let's take away the rest of his ammo. Should have done that earlier. Rest. Heal. Rest. Rest. Um, one. We need to cast any more spells. I think we've won this battle. Oh, poison! Forgot all about poison. I say I like the eagles. Four flying with charge on them? That's nice. Not much defense, though. It would be tricky to use them. But I, I, I'm liking them. Decent money, 137, for the battle itself. Plus one command. That's nice. Oh, what do I want for an upgrade? Concentration will make all my spells last longer, but I don't have very many spells that require duration. Let's grab archery, as weird as it is. It's plus one ammo, and that helps our, us out with our wand. Precise shot doesn't do anything for me, though. Unless we get a bow with him later on. Wand master would have been so much better to see here. Concentration would be nice, and for that recuperation, I have no spells that require duration except for the ones I put on my animals, and my animals won't live long enough to really take advantage of them anyway. Take archery for plus one ammo. 
Holy crap! Guards Halberd. First strike, counterattack plus four. Uh, sorry, attack plus four, counterattack plus five, armor piercing strike. This is nice for a warrior. So we will be purchasing a warrior for our next hero. Two, three, three gold and 18 gems. I'll think about it. All right, sir, let's double back home with you. Slit, you probably also need to come back home. And at home... This is so tempting to build now. Because that builds into this, which builds into this. Although that makes me think we should actually take a, whatchamacallit instead, a commander. But I think I... Oh, wow, those suede boots are nice. No, we'll, we'll go for... We'll build the tailor store. And we can afford that other hero. Or can begin affording tier 2... Like, like, I can build the fort and I can build the guards and barracks. I think I'd honestly rather have the hero out and about. So let's hire a warrior. Ragor, hello, sir. Okay, you're not going to need this guy. You won't ever need the slinger. You'll take the level 3 slinger. And I think we'll give you two pikemen. We can give you a belt. Buy you a cloak. Get you some chainmail. Sell off this. Uh, actually, I guess we should arguably leave it. Oh, I forgot about the merchant's hat. We'll have to we'll have to use it. You get this hat instead. And I think the rest of it remains off of you. Actually, we don't have any boots. Let's give you boots. I'm not gonna give you gloves. That should be good. And we can immediately begin having you just explore. Next turn, you'll get your guardsman halberd. Oh, spells. Uh, I think a cure wounds will be helpful. A haste will be helpful. Let's look away, uh, just, probably to my bless would be more useful. Let's take another cure wounds. Act, no. Another haste instead. Right, buildings inside your province as well, Tim. Let's build a pub here. Everyone's heading back home. Continue exploring. Making 62 bucks a turn. So let's repair your equipment. We have a, another hat. You... You will keep the leather hat. If we ever do hire another... Hero, it will be obviously the commander. We don't need either of these wands. You will pro Oh, you have a cloak. Oh! You have this cloak. That cloak is better for a warrior. This cloak is better for you. Ragor, let's give you this. Plus one defense. That's very nice. Shinodrim can repair his equipment. You will get the merchant's hat. And we don't need this. We don't need that. You'll get a cloak. Slit will get a slightly better tanned jacket. For buildings... Should have built that so we can. It made, would have made the units I just hired cheaper for our warrior. Unless I'm not cheaper, more experienced. Um, I'm probably gonna need a market sooner or later. Let's build it now. Oh no, Tim, no, no. You need you need tier two units. Build the fort. And the ones I want, we don't have access to. That would be probably the siege workshop, the guards and barracks. Probably the Witch Circle for Sorcerers this time around. Okay, as for units, I can still give you a single Tier 2 unit. Let's hire the Duelist. And get him in your army. 
and slit. Let's have you come here and begin exploring to get rid of the exploration symbol. You have some scouting already, with scouting too, so you can get that done a little faster. Ragor, let's give you the guard's halberd. Nice. So you went from 8-6 all the way up to 10-9. With first strike and armor piercing, that's going to be very nice. And you will just explore this province. Let's get, let's begin getting these to 100%. Snowdrium, we're going to send you over here now. Before we do that, we want, oops, we want to save vulnerability. And I don't have the money to save burn ammo unless we vendor something. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's look at our spells then. So, I like burn ammo. I like to hold on to it. We're going to probably need at least three shocks for the skeletons. And I'm not going to do the wolves. I want fears for the cyclops. And we should not need even a cure wounds. But you know what you also won't need? You won't need two summon eagles. Not for what you're about to fight. So, that should be good. That should be good. One heal, just in case things go south. Fears, these. Oh, not until we have our wand. I think we'll be good. I can't afford anything else. Did I not build a pub somewhere? Probably build a pub here. No cash left whatsoever. We went from having 2,000 bucks left over, we'll be having problems suspending it, down to nothing. While exploring the province of Ritual, the hero Ragor found a primeval thicket. Brigand, Thief, and Renegade, yeah! Ragor can totally handle this group. Alright, that's good. Let's start. I can just stay here and use a haste of our slinger versus one of their thieves. Alright, sir, up you go. Let's move you here. Move you one. Let's kill a thief. Oh, or badly hurt one. I'm gonna move him away. Because I want them all attacking our warrior. He has first strike as well and armor piercing. So he'll do good damage. Oh. I thought we had... Oh, no, Tim. You don't have vigilance. Let's run up here and kill this guy. It's a cake, guys. We can heal that hit you took. Well done, and you leveled up immediately. Plus one command. Let's grab Constitution. Plus two hit points, plus one stamina. Uh, stamina, counterattack, 60 bucks. It is rumored that the legendary Chalice of Life is kept somewhere in the province of Feather Knoll. The chalice is an ancient artifact, giving eternal youth to the one who possesses it. Treasure hunters of every stripe and color are flowing into your lands. According to legend, the chalice will belong to the one who proves his worth to own it in a fair duel. If we try to find it, and we do, we can sell it for a good amount of money. But I don't think we really need the money, and I'd rather have the 40 crystals. So, let's arrange a tournament according to custom. The tournament lasts for several days. Knight Goderick wins the final contest. He leaves with the Chalice of Life in a stately manner and, to everyone's surprise, returns soon with the legendary artifact in his hands. Hey, um, bless a noble knight. The deputy of your province of Ritual informs you that the local monster catchers have caught a wounded bird that looks like a phoenix but smaller and without a fiery aura. Both of the bird's wings were broken. The monster catchers were going to finish off the phoenix to save it from suffering when suddenly... The bird started to talk, begging that her life be spared. I think 
Ying Li just mentioned to me the other day that talking to it gives us other options. Give me a second, everyone. I'm going to go check what he said really quick. Okay, everyone. So here is what Ying Li has to say about this option if we want to talk to it. So Ying Li says, talk to the phoenix. She will ask you to hold a ritual, then give you some ring with legendary quality in red color. And the reward afterwards can be some other legendary artifacts than simply a spell. Maybe it's possible to try other options next time. So in other words, you say, hey, try something different. It's so tempting to heal its wounds to set it free because I could really use another high level spell. It'll be a level 3 or a level 4 spell, and it'll probably be good, whatever it is. Another level 4 could make it very nice indeed. Ah, oh, it's tempting. I think it's too tempting for this spell, since especially because we have a... Our first hero on the shard was a wizard, and I think he can really benefit from any spell we gain. Ice Chunk is a level 2. Yeah, I think... We know that several turns from now... We'll, or we have a chance several turns from now. For him, I can visit from a, a powerful mage who gives us a spell for healing the bird. Let's, you know what? No. Let's, let's try this. Ying Li has, has pointed out to me that this gives us an option for some other rewards. We should make the attempt. We really, really should. Because I'll, I know if I don't do this now, I probably will never do it. So, deliver it to the castle. I want to talk to it. The phoenix is soon delivered to your castle. The beautiful bird looks very worn out. Who are you? Who did this to you? I am Laredet Laredetta. Princess of the Lakeland. My husband, the sorcerer Isravis, did this to me. Suspecting I had cheated on him, he turned me into a phoenix in a fit of anger, clipped my wings, and left me for the monster catchers to find. He knew that they would never let such a valuable bird live. He didn't have the heart to kill me himself. Did you really cheat on him? I never cheated on him. But I secretly visited one wise man who taught me how to heal, and even how to resurrect. My husband didn't want me to ever learn anything. Can I remove the spell from you somehow? I know, the co I know a counter spell, and I can teach it to any magician competent enough, but the ritual to be performed is very costly. Ah, we don't have the gold. I can only offer you your freedom. Your servants heal the phoenix and set it free. Loretta is very upset that she will have to spend her life in a bird's feathers. I wish I could help her. Your spies report a local shaman in the province of Yosh Kislik has been noticed practicing demonology. People have seen horrible creatures summoned from the underworld itself. Execute the demonologist. You fail to take the shaman unawares, and the creatures of the chaos under his command attack the province. Why am I not surprised? Let's, let's defend the province. Okay, we will we will win this fight. We may take a few hits here. Let's put all the peasants up front. We'll do this. We can swing you guys. Actually, let's do something like this. I don't want to lose the ranger. Okay. I think that will work. Peasants in the front to take to take the brunt of these simple attacks. We shoot down and or kill any imps first, and then move our way to the demonologist to win. Alright. Peasants, your job is just simply to die. Let's move you guys up. I want you out of the way, because I would like him moved up. You, you up. One, two, one. And let's start this. Actually, you do nine physical damage. Yeah. <laughs> 
But I kind of want that guy to live. I know we shouldn't really care. I'd like him to live. Ah, they killed someone in the end. That's a shame. Well done, guys. Well done. Oh, holy crap! This is the guy who almost died! He can become a barbarian! Yeah, you become a barbarian. We'll give you one counterattack. We'll give you one defense here, one hit point, one ammo. Your troops kill the shaman and eliminate the creatures he has summoned. Gems and some old scrolls are found in the demonologist's sturdy hut. 20 gems, word of life, spell, and shock. Serves the bastard right. That was a pretty eventful, pun intended, a turn there. So we'll have you search, Ragor, repair your equipment. You don't need shock. That could be nice, though. You get another point of command. I think at this level, I generally like giving a healer to the group. We'll do so. We'll keep exploring that land, Ragor. And Feather Knoll, I'm here for the big battles. I forgot to take a unit with, with you. Actually... But we can use... I can't use Call of Darkness yet. Let's use Walking Dead, then. A four-armed skeletal monstrosity has risen from the burial grounds to join the hero's party. A level 17 Reaper. That is very nice. That is very nice indeed. She's not looking very happy. Doesn't like seeing all these undead around, but she'll... She'll... It'll, it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and start by fighting the Skeletal Guardians. There might be some good treasure here. Now, I'd like to try out the Water Elemental during the fight. We don't have enough cash to really build a whole lot, but we can we can at least build a granary here to start growing this land faster. While exploring the province of Ritual, the hero Ragor found some ancient ruins. A Cyclops. Uh, we can't win, we can't beat a Cyclops with our army. We, we, we retreat. Abandoned Temple. <laughs> While searching for treasures, the hero Slit has approached the, an ancient temple. This old shrine only seemed to bend from, far, from afar. Its guards have noticed uninvited guests are preparing for battle. Ten enemies are all casters. Shaman, witch doctor, ghost whisperer, sorcerer, dark priestess, beast master, spirit conjurer, and a necromancer. If we didn't have the beast master... So, so what are these? So, Shaman, we've seen plenty of Shamans. That's the... We can hire Shamans in our own army. We know what that is. Witch Doctor is an upgraded Shaman. Is that right? Yes. Witch Doctor is an upgraded Shaman. We have a Ghost Whisperer, which is the... Um, that's the Orc, who summons the Totems. A Sorcerer, we've seen them. They summon Demons. Dark Priestess, that's the Dark Elf Girl Healer. Beastmaster, that is the Goblin Ca uh, caster, who uses uh, hornet swarms and the like. Spirit Conjurer, that's the other Orc Shaman, the Upgrade Ghost Whisperer, and a Necromancer. I don't, I don't think we can win. It's too much ranged. We could win this battle with our other hero, but not with this group. So yeah, so we have to retreat. Actually, let, let's scout while we're here. Two shamans, one witch doctor, two ghost whispers. So the only doubles are the very weak things. But I still don't think we can win the battle. You might be able to, actually, Tim. Most of them won't move up. How much ammo do you have? Ten? That's a little too risky. We'll retreat. 
The hero Snowdream approaches an ancient crypt. It looks like a burial vault of some ancient ruler or a great warrior, and one is sure to find something valuable among the belongings of the deceased, and to encounter those guarding the peace of the dead as well. Four enemies, Lord of Darkness, Skeleton of Doom. Let's do it. Right, I brought what I needed for this? I did. Okay, now this is going to be a really difficult battle, so I need to think about where everything is going to be placed for this battle. So first, I do not want my wizard up front, and I would, do not want to fight here. I see that we have some hills and some mountains. This will split them and limit how many of them can reach me at once. So, we will put our druid here. I want the spiders to be on hills. It will increase their spit range. And these guys only have like a well attack. So we can root them for two. We can web them for two turns. Which will be extremely useful. We'll put our... Uh, let's move our skeleton onto a different hill. He'll move here. Our healer can stay here in case we need her to heal one of these two units. I don't want our Reaper to die, but he has more hit points and defense. Actually, he has less hit points, but greater defense than this guy has. So we'll put our very high-level Spearman here. Now, yes, we could move up more. Oh, you know what? You, you can move up more, Tim. Move up more. Uh, no. Why? There's no reason for that. You act... These things will be quite... So, the Skeleton of Doom have First Strike and probably Wounding Spines on them. So, we don't want to fight them with anything that's alive. We want to have our all our magic damage, which is basically going to be our mage, kill these. And we need that Water Elemental out in the field of battle quickly. Alright, start. Alright, here they come. We have, we've read about Skeletons of Doom, I think, some time ago. But we haven't read about the Lord of Darkness. The origin of this rare being is not known. Scattered scrolls and manuscripts document the being is the result of a skeletal structure of undeath, whose darkened vessel of a heart saturated with unrelenting hatred seizes a physical manifestation of power with a desire for vengeance against those who wronged it. Other legends refer to the Lord of Darkness as the result of a malicious desire to manifest the ultimate immortal guardian. Because of its rarity and lack of documented facts, one must approach this monstrosity with extreme caution. Lord of Darkness almost always appears to be surrounded by several skeletons of darkness, and sends these creepy creatures into battle like a real commander. In addition, his presence increases the power of allied undead units on the battlefield. Inexperienced soldiers better not approach the Lord of Darkness. Killing living beings enhances his strength, allowing him time and again to raise his minions from fallen enemies. Immune to wounds, immune to stamina loss, immune to morale uh, damage. First Strike. Intimidation 3. Lowers the morale of those it, it strikes by 3 points. Life Stealing 5. When it kills an enemy, it heals 5 hit points. Hex 6. Unit can't be healed for 6 turns, I think. Yep. Armor Resistance is lowered by 1. Immune to Cold. Immune to Poison. Be um, heals, I think, 1 ammo whenever it kills an enemy. Whenever it's damaged by a living enemy and not killed... I believe it inflicts two points. Uh, the enemy bleeds for two damage for two turns. Word of the Lord spell. Increases undead allies attack and counterattack by two. Defense, range, defense, and resistance by one. Lasts four turns. This is what he uses his ammo for. This one at least does. As tempting as it is to just shock them, I think I might need the water elemental. As for where to put her, I don't want her being hit right away. Let's put her here. She's not immune to physical damage, so we'll have to actually be careful with her. Alright, good. She has magic attack, and it's not ice damage. So that's, I hope it's not ice damage. She's a level 17. We'll take a look at her stats after we read about her. Elemental spirits live on their own planes, and usually do not leave them voluntarily. Some powerful spellcasters are able to summon them to the material plane for a short time. The spirits materialize in the body, composed of their element. This is the only way they can withstand hostile environments. The elemental spirit of water crushes its, thick, its enemies under thick, conjured blocks of ice. In addition, a water elemental can heal wounds. One option to combat elementals is to banish them back to their plane, 
a difficult task, but not impossible. Weapons often struggle to pierce water of the water elemental, and strong magic is required to afflict its glowing presence. Uh, this one's not very... So, it looks like she's probably the weakest of all the elementals we could have gotten. Seven ammo, though, is very nice, and she inflicts ten points of magic damage with her attacks. So, she's summoned. Immune to health and morale loss. That's nice. So, even if she begins, begins getting damaged by the skeletons, she can still hurt them. A uh, seven is about she heals. She has magic strike, so she inflicts five physical points of... Oh, I'm sorry, this is magic magic rain, magic shot. So she inflicts 10 points of magic damage. She likes being in swamps. She increases her resistance while in swamps. She's incorporeal, so she's immune to a bunch of different types of spells. Immune to cold damage. Immune to mind control spells. Cannot be webbed. Cannot be petrified. Cannot be rooted. Immune to poison. Her spells are a little more damaging. She knows Glacial Heart. She knows Freeze. And she knows Ice Chunk. None of which... We will be using here because all of these enemies are immune to cold. So she is basically just a range tick, a range ten attack. And that is it. I don't want to move anyone else. Everyone else is just staying put. Okay. Let's have you. Oh wow, that's quite a spread of damage. Four. Oh, hold on, but it's got this spell on it. Ah, that's just still fucking six damage. All right, it did not. Let's root this one. And shock. One, two. The Lord of Darkness. Next turn, it's dead. This, this will be being released soon. We'll keep it webbed. Wow! Our shocks are really strong against at least these creatures. Might be enough, though, to, for our shock to kill it. Web this guy. Keep him webbed. We can just alternate webs every turn. We're out of shocks, but we have a magic wand. We should rest recover some of our energy. We still have plenty of ammo on our spiders to keep this thing rooted. Actually, we should just keep spinning because it increases the duration by one every time we do so. Let's have you rest as well. Nice, that was easy. I'm very glad I summoned her. She was very helpful for this battle. 38 bucks and 32 gems. Plus one defense. Ah, uh, not very good. 1, 7, 3, and 12. I mean, okay. This is a good spell. Grants all friendly units immunity to all mind-affecting spells. Last 10 turns. Actually, that is very nice. Lasting 10 turns, that is amazing. And it's only level 2 spell also. This would prevent us from taking any damage from the... Um, uh, I forget the spell school. The one that has astral energy. The one that has sleep. The one that has mass suicide. This would defend you from it. Alright, let's step in and do a Cyclops battle next. Slit, you'll keep exploring. Ragor, you will keep exploring. We can sell this. We have more cash after those battles. Let's upgrade this to a tavern. Oh, our main province wants another building. I think we'll just hold on to our cash. Well, for the province of Ritual, the hero Ragor found something unusual. Ancient ruins. Three enemies, giant spider and a bird eater. We cannot win that fight. He will be rooted in place with this, with this webs and defeated. So retreat, continue exploring there. One Cyclops, we should be able to win. Okay. Now, the issue here is that our webs probably won't work against it very easily, if at all. 
Oh, what am I doing? Okay, think, Tim. Stop! Stop. You want to lower its morale dramatically before it ever reaches you. Do something like this. And start. Okay, let's immediately begin hammering it. This is one of the things I really like about this game as well, is how you can deal with these situations uh, in unique ways. Like, being able to lower this thing's morale to defeat it, that's very powerful. Yeah, it's lost 10 points of attack and 10 points of counterattack. Now, I don't want to take it that hit, and I don't know if we can web it. We might be able to, but we can only maybe web it for one turn. So we're going to back up. I'm going to get a little closer to us. We'll begin hammering it, though, with our range attacks. Okay, I like where it moved. It's still dangerous. However... It's at about, it's got less than half its normal attack values. It still, however, has Crushing Blow. So we need to be careful of that. He can still use it. Can we web you? We can, and it will last for two turns. Okay. Let's cast an Eagle spell now. Web it again. Throw more spears at it. We'll now use Poison Claw. The poison will help us defeat it. We can move you out of the way. It's webbed for two more turns. We can poison the hell out of it. That'll be the plan. But we keep it webbed to make sure it does, doesn't get to attack us. Not bad. Not bad. That's how you deal with a Cyclops. One, two, nine bucks. That's a nice amount of cash for just that battle. Now, we're going to get trash as a reward. Cyclops, from my experience, Cyclops never have anything good. De defense. Ooh, plus one more web or necrophagy. Oh, this is tricky. This heals him five hit points and restores three ammo. I think I want this for you. Plus some range defense. Yep, utter, utter, utter trash. Cyclops never have anything good. You do it for the experience. People in the province of Forest Country have seized an elf living in the outskirts of the province. The elf is accused of of hexing, inflicting sickness, and performing black magic. The crowd is going to burn Outlander at the stake, so... We can try to rescue him from the raised crowd, but I think we need a guard for that. We can pay the people for the elf's life at 250. We might fail to rescue the elf as well, but I think the people get angry at us if we fail. Oh, sorry, if we try to rescue him. I don't really want to spend 250. That was basically the battles that we just did. But, but, if we pay for the elf's life, there's a chance we can be rewarded later on for it. And, more importantly, it stops this province from being attacked by an elven raid. Let's pay the people for the elf's life. The elf is very grateful to you for saving him. Soon he leaves the province of forest country to return to his native forests. That's nice. Uh, I just do some positions. Alright! Uh, we can do, like, probably a few more turns. Let's go and fight this cyclops. You'll keep exploring this province. This province is no longer red. Slick, can we use you to kill anything? You might be able to kill the Hell Court. It's going to be tough, though. This pack of Ratman you can probably kill. And probably the Swamp Creatures as well. We no longer need to be here. So let's, let's have you kill the Swamp Creatures. Oops, we should build buildings. Let's build a tavern here. 
I think after this, we need to consider taking more provinces at this at that point. What turn is it? 50? 53, yeah. We need to begin taking more provinces. How's our income? 61. Oh, and our sp uh, we don't have another a, a command slot yet, do we? No. But we could use Summon Nature again. Okay. Let's do this battle. If we get to put a command, that's wonderful. If not, we're going to double back to our main province. And it might be time for us to begin leaving some of these units behind. We, like, we probably won't need the heal for too much longer. Uh, that's fine. We're saving up in our, in our main province. We still also want to build a tier 2 unit structure. Continue exploring. One Cyclops. Yep, you will e Not so easily, but you will win. This is a different layout for us. It'll be tougher to reach the Cyclops and with all my units, but we should still be able to do it. Oh, and unfortunately for us, we're setting up first. Okay, that's going to make this tough because the Cyclops will probably start as close to us as possible. We will not be able to get its morale down before it reaches us. So we need to do something like this. I'm going to need the webs faster this time. Okay, good. He didn't appear in the best spot for himself to appear. Let's use a fear. Take this and we'll move you up. Here he comes. All right. Let's move you down one. I'll keep both of you where you are. We'll let's fear him again. He can move here, but that's the only spot he'll be able to reach. He doesn't have swamp knowledge, so he can't reach you, Spider, if I move you here. Move you... Move... Move you... What? Okay, I don't understand that. We'll begin moving you around. You'll take this hill. I don't want him on a hill. It'll be okay. Let's get his morale down. You on this hill. Begin hurling the spears. Oh, he has three movement. Interesting. We don't want you attacking, though, until... Until we can web him. He's afraid. We've got to keep him that way. Let's web. Two turns. Okay, perfect. Start damaging him. Run you up. And as before, we'll summon an eagle. Let's give it poison attack. It's probably still going to be scared, so we don't need to web it with you. Not this turn. Yep, still scared. We can web them. Well done, guys. Plus one magic. Oh, crap! Do we want Wand Master? Or do we want Necromancy 3? Both are great options for us. Oh, this is tricky. And we didn't get a point of command. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? The Necromancy is probably a little more important than the Wand. They're both useful. They are both useful. But we don't have a fantastic Wand. So we'll grab Necromancy 3 right at this moment. Garbage! Which is what I expected. 130 and 10. The deputy of the province of High Hills informs you that people in this province have gotten to the habit of gathering fruit from the gardens of a neighboring free settlement. Such petty thefts bring some additional gold. Uh, don't stop the people from earning money. People will probably... The other people might be angry at that. Let's double you back home, Shinodrium. It's time for us to take some more spells with you. Where 
Agor, you'll keep exploring. Actually, uh, you might be able to kill the rat men. Maybe. Uh, no, we'll have you just explore. Slit, you will kill the swamp creatures. Agor, Agor uh, sorry, Shinodrium will come back home, get some new spells, kill this Cyclops, and then it's out to take some provinces after that. We'll take this Barbarian Lands and see where that leads us. As for buildings, let's build a... Oh, I built everything I wanted over here. I guess we'll build a granary here to help this place grow. For our other buildings, it's again, it's tempting to build a market. But I think we hold on to that cash at the moment. Oh, that could be good too. Being able to build a bakery would be nice. It would let me upgrade the, the these three provinces' mills. But now we'll we'll we won't do so at the moment. Most wonder province of ritual. The hero Rugger found a monolith. Examine it. Hero Rugger reached a monolith covered with ancient runes. These rocks are known to collect magic energy, which could easily be converted into magic gems. But you will first have to defeat its guards. I think we can kill this group. Let's start with the haste. Stamina drain. We might actually lose you. Let's pull you back now, and our warrior will take the hill. He'll just stay there. We'll put a haste on this guy. <laughs> I love, I love Pikeman. I, I say, I like first strike. I should say that. Guys, you're not so interested in attacking the pikemen? Just kill you other well, still kill you. It doesn't matter. Well done, guys. No hit point loss. Plus one health. Um Let's grab Athletics 1. Plus one initiative and forced march. We will give you a stamina medal. Plus two morale. Plus two morale. Sandals and 50 bucks. Basla, Swamp Dragonfly, and a Giant Slug. I think Slit can indeed win this but win this fight. I think we can probably do it without needing even the False Alarm. We should take the hill, and there's no reason to risk your hero. Okay. Can we kill this without needing to use my hero? Oh, and I put everything down here because of the basilisks. My plan is to shoot this thing to death. And hopefully we won't even have to shoot this one to death. Move you one. Hurl a spear. Move you one. Move you. We could kill it with, with this spear. We can kill it with you instead. That lets me hold on to a spear. If you down one. And just begin shooting him. He's dead in another maybe three turns. You guys can all stay put. I don't need to move you yet. Let's... One, two, three. He can't reach you. Everyone else will stay put. 
they move just one. These guys can all rest. Begin damaging them. We'll move you up. That's right, you don't trigger counter uh, such hits. Let's move you here. And I think we'll heal some... Actually, let, let's wait till next turn to heal this guy's stamina a little. Let's see what they do. That was a monstrous hit you took, Mr. Level 9. I can heal you. Move you away. Put someone new here. Heavily damage that. this without needing to use my archer to fire. Let's heal some morale there. Mockery. Plus one range defense. Undead regeneration. Holy crap. 2, 6, 8, and 21. This is a tier 1 spell. Under the influence of this spell, the undead restore 4 hit points immediately and then 4 each turn. It says the undead, but does that mean, is this a single target or is this everyone? I guess we'll find out. Only works on the undead. Well, crap, I really want that spell. Like, I really want that spell before I move out. So, Slit, you're coming back home with it. Ragor, repair your equipment. We don't need these sandals. You will keep exploring. We're back up to 1,000 gold as well, which is very nice. Synodrium, repair your equipment. We don't need the lightning. You will leave the healer behind now. We don't need the peasant any longer. Let's summon. Let's use Call of Darkness. Oh. Might be something not as good as I'm hoping for. <laughs> Do it. Use Call of Darkness. See what you get, Tim. It's a lot of money for Call of Darkness, and it's a ton of gems. I think I'd rather have a... I, honestly, I think I'd rather have a summon nature at this at this moment. Yes, I would. Drum of the Ritual's Enchantment, the creature joins a hero's party. Swamp Dragonfly. Does poison. Unit can't be healed. It loses hit points, and it, it's got agility. That's nice, and it hovers. All right, how expensive... And you're only 20 bucks. As for spells, do I want, like, do I want Strong Mind? Do I want Strong Mind? We'd have to go first. I don't have any initiative skills, I think. No. No, you don't. Not yet. Not yet. We'll probably get at least one point of magic as we level up. We could build the Sphere of Stone, and that would give you gargoyles you could create. We could also give you Stone Skin, which will help your, help your creatures out. Sure. It's a lot of cash, but we'll build it. So, Snowdrum, let's grab a stone skin and to create gargoyle. And since we're fighting another Cyclops, we'll keep all our fears. Uh, do I want shocks, though? Yeah, we'll keep the shocks as well. Maybe later we can come up here and defeat more Death Servants. There's two more groups of them. And another Cyclops here as well. So let's. You know what? It'd be better for you to go and kill that these groups. Kill those groups. You'll get more cash. It's it's better. You get more cash. You're set up to kill them already.
sure. By the way, how expensive is this? 35 gems for someone water elemental. Good god. Okay, we'll, we'll go over there. So you'll, you're will you going back home. Oh, that's right. Shodrum, no. I want you to have that one. Well, we can come back for that one spell. You'll probably level up killing all three of those things as well. Yeah, let's, let's double back. And we'll, we'll make this our last turn as well. I'll, I'll talk about the recording see how long we've been playing. Oops, and we should... Build a granary here. And we're about done, Tim, with all the buildings you can create. Oh, you need to mine in that location, but then we need more... We should really, Tim, instead, we should fight the barbarians. We really should. No. No, I want more treasure. Let's do these battles instead. Primeval Thicket? Nope. Jasper Bort, you're too tough for you. All right, Slit, let's repair your equipment. Leave this at home. This might be good for you, actually, sir. If we make you like a ringleader. Later. We can take that later. Okay, so what are you doing? While we're here, let's go ahead and fight some giant spiders. We can probably kill all the groups of them. Especially now that we have a bar to recover our stamina. We can probably win the, those, not without too much difficulty. And Ragor, you will continue exploring here. Actually, no. Ragor, let's have you come over here. No, no, no. Keep him here and explore here. My thought is, if I, if I come over here and begin exploring, we might find even more locations for Snowdrum to find and defeat while he's here. Did I move? We did. We should probably summon another dead. Uh, why? You can't fit it in your army unless you drop one of these extremely high-level spearmen, and you don't want to do that. Oh, although the the undead we hired him will be a higher level than this level one bone spearman. Do it. Get rid of that bone spearman. Goodbye, Mr. Bone Spearman. We do not need you any longer. Because we'll hire a a better leveled version of it, or something else instead. A bonus member is risen from the burial grounds to join the hero's party. And that was level 13, so two levels higher. Alright, let's step in. And let's fight this great Cyclops. It'll be a little tougher battle, but I think we still have the amount of fears we need to win. And Slit, yep, we will thicket, explore province. Uh, as for buildings, we can build that mine now, Tim. And after this round, we'll call the session. Playing for like an hour. 2% explored. Four enemies here. We can win. We have no hills on our side. We have a nice little area that they'll be... They can't... They can still reach us very quickly. And probably all that... Close to being all at once. But we should still be able to win. Let's keep our units back like this. Start the fight, and we will raise that false alarm. Okay, good. That will buy me one round. That will let me move up one and use a haste spell. So we get some natural stamina regen. And they... Alright, here they come. So we need to strike them while they're outside of the forests. Like this one. Actually, that one's still in the forest. I see it's got six range defense. Let's move you all back one to make sure they come out of those of those of the woods. And I think we don't have a choice but to hurt that one like that. Why did you lose so much? How much? It's three more. Oh, because we moved and fired. That's two plus three more for the shot. That's why. All right, Tim, here they are. Now, you do, you want your army up one space. Because otherwise, they'll web our leader. We really don't want that to happen. Uh-oh. But you're going to be attacked by that guy. Let's move you two and kill. Actually, let's have you attack this. Because you won't trigger a counterattack. You'll move down two. 
We kill that one. We can move you two. You get moved one. And we will try heavily damaging this one. Oh god, so much damage. Let's pull you back and heal you. You can't kill it with your spear. It's not gonna happen. Okay, we can heal this. Let's heal some more stamina. Throw a spear. He won't trigger the counterattack. So we can damage him a little more. And make sure he dies. Oh! Or not kill him. Taking a lot of damage, but we're still... We've won this battle. He's out of stamina. He can't defend himself. Let's surround him. We'll have our melee kill him. We can heal here. And let's do it. Plus one healing metal for you. You'll get that. Plus two stamina. Ooh, counterattack or resistance? Plus one resistance. Hey! Sorcerer's wand! That's not a fantastic wand. This is what we would have built had we built our, our shop. But it's better than our current wand. Plus one damage and I think plus one ammo. 186 and 20 gems is nice. The Oceanodrium approaches the place of worship to some dark god. A lot of innocent blood was spilled here in the name of some evil deity, whose idol towers over his sanctuary. The servants of the god are clearly not allowing their evil lord to be disturbed. This is a great Cyclops, so it is going to have more hit points. And it can reach us easily. It's got a path to reach us without ever having to step into the swamp. I think we can still defeat it. The rest of our army can deal with the orcs. Let's do this with you guys. Oh, this looks like a normal Cyclops. I guess there's no real difference. Cyclops, there's no real difference. Oh, it's a hero here. It's Hero's Cross. We're out by six, might evil by two. Thankfully, we don't have any evil. Oh, we have evil units, Tib. Careful. You've got, uh... You've got skeletons here. Well, let's start getting his morale down. One, two, one, two. So he'll still be able to reach us. We need to pull back a bit. Can't reach us, so everyone stays put. Keep damaging you. I'm not quite sure how I want to do this. Let's move you like this. This one can't reach us yet. Let's get you guys moved up a tad. Okay. Let's get the season morale down. Oh, wow, Tim. That thing had 15 morale. 15. Okay, we move you up and web him. I think we move you two. Keep damaging it. You guys move down one for the spear. You have agile, so you shouldn't trigger any counterattack from it. And it will be afraid this round. So we shouldn't have to do anything else. We can web him. Keep throwing those spears. Web will fade after this round ends, but I think he'll still be afraid. those poisons on him. Let's... I don't think we'll actually need a summon eagle this time. Let's use a shock. He's 
running away. He's very afraid. He's also hurt now, severely. We won't trigger his counterattack. Let's make sure that we don't. Fight him to death. And it's over! We've won! With very limited spell use. One entire damage. A breastplate, if I want my warrior to do less damage and be slower, but have a lot more defense, and some boots for him. 4, 16, 27. This is actually not bad. Like, for a Cyclops? That's... That's not bad. 416 bucks as well, and 27 gems. And we got rid of the idol. Monster Altus in the province of Three Metal have discovered a rare species of weaver spider. These large spiders are known to make an unusually strong and elastic web, and clothes made out of their web are of great value. Unfortunately, weaver spiders are terribly poisonous. One bite from such a creature is deadly. Leave the spiders in peace. I want to think we'll stop here. Shinodrium will prepare himself to fight some of these death servants. Did he level? Some time ago. Let's repair your equipment. You know what? We should deliver this to him. We can do so. Actually, where are you, Slit? One second. You need more high-level command, Tim, for your undead. High-level command. Don't leave them behind. And don't deliver it. When Slit levels up, he can get he can come back here and get the wand. Assuming he doesn't gain health. Are you powerful enough to get Slit to do a battle against an enemy army? Not yet. You can kill, then, these giant spiders. And Ragor, let's have you come down here and fight these rats. Oh, it says pack of rat men. Uh, yeah, I, th I think you'll be able to win. I think your army can probably do it. Let's do one more turn. <laughs> we'll end it at the end of this turn. Oh, but then we should go ahead and build buildings and such. I don't think, Tim, you have very many build more buildings you can actually build. Yeah, we're out of buildings. Okay. Let's build that halfling suburb, then. We can now hire border guards as a tier 2 unit, if we want. That's tempting. But no, we don't need them quite yet. We'll go ahead and build a bakery here. And I think for this land, we'll get rid of these guards. That's fine. We'll hire some very expensive guards. The border guards. So we want to take these deadly swamps and grab this halfling village. That's what we're going to want to do. And I don't even see the enemy yet, so they're, like, they may be having a tough time leveling themselves. I won. Uh, right, let's let's do this turn, and then we'll call the session. Three enemies. We did a four enemy battle last time, so this should be easier for us. I do. I want the hill. I think I do want the hill for my hero. Okay, let's start. Uh, we'll raise that false alarm. I want their their speed being lowered. We can get you out of this. Get out. We can get you out of the forest. Move you down one. Heal you to start. Move you two. Because their speed's only one. We can be a little risky with our spearmen and get them into the battle. And since their speed's only one, we don't have to kill them quite as quickly. This guy's speed is two. Um, but he still can't quite reach you. I don't want to attack him while he's in the forest. 
Let's see, if he moves here... Probably move here, is not going to be my guess. Let's do this with you guys. Move you into the forest. Move you down to find some support. And we'll begin injuring this guy as well. Move you out one and two. Ready to heal either side if we need it. And we'll heal some stamina here. Okay. This one can reach either of these guys this upcoming turn. But we can take one hit from it. As long as I kill the, uh, these other two. Let's throw the spear here. Maybe not. Let's... Move you down one. Four hit points? Yes, you can kill it. Eight hit points? You will probably kill this spider. That leaves just you left. We could root it with the Hunter's Vine, but that's... I don't think I need to do that. We could Vulnerability it. It does 10 damage. Oof, that's going to be tough. But he'll live through that. He'll live through it. Put you back up and heal you you up and damage him because it doesn't trigger it doesn't trigger his counter attack now unfortunately we might not kill it unless we use our powerful shot because it has 12 hit points and we inflict 12 damage so let's guarantee the kill and end this plus one health and we'll grab we'll grab one reaction plus one initiative plus one range defense and plus one resistance Ooh, plus one ammo to start. I think I'd rather have plus two stamina. Plus two stamina. Bed and mail, slightly better for our warrior. Iron ring, plus one hit point. Good amount of gold, 214. A black knight and bone spearman. I don't see how they're winning this fight whatsoever. Because there's no way he's reaching me. We can probably kill him with just two single shocks. We have a good amount of blocking terrain. In fact, he cannot reach me without having to stop his charge. So this will be fine. It's going to be the knight, uh, those two back there. That might be a little tricky. Yep, one more of those will do it. I don't want to lose you. It's going to be tough to, to get these bone spearmen defeated. We can at least move you both up one. This guy can't reach you here. Could probably spread their damage around a little bit by making them focus on certain enemies. Ooh, oh, 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 oh! Let's, let's get you away. I don't, think I, have, I don't think I have a single heal on me either. That's a shame. That was a big hit you, you took. I do have a single heal. Okay, that's good. Kill the one that has more ammo left. And we'll move you back up. Oh, it's a terrible spell. Oh, you want to attack me? I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's heal you, little guy. Web him. Oh, right. You have you can't you have hover, not flying, so you can't actually fly over uh, that sort of thing. One more turn on the web. That's fine. Easy, easy battle. Uh, plus two morale. 
Another breastplate. 202 bucks is very nice, though, and 20 gems. The Debbie the Prophets of Great Metal informs you that a hero called the Vanquisher of Ogres has turned up in their land. Recently, he had found an ogre's lair in their province and cleared it out. <clears throat> the people say he's obtained great spoils. The Vanquisher of Ogres has 10 backpacks crammed full of gold, of, of goods. Bless the hero. He was very touched by your gesture. He asked you to accept 400 gold coins from his spoils as a sign of his gratitude. Take it to the treasury. We could use that to help afford some better chainmail for Ragor. Ragor, let's have you go in there. Slit. Repair the equipment. And let's see about buying some chainmail for him. Let's build that foundry. That will increase our income by five more gold. And Shinodrium can go and get ready to kill these death servants. But everyone, I'm going to call it here. Thank you all for watching. So a lot of locations defeated this time. Plenty of gold gained. And it's very soon, Shinodrium will be moving out to take more of these lands. Just while we're here, we might as well clear out more and more locations. We'll probably fight the death servants. The Hell Cohort, maybe even the Slugs. Just wipe out those groups for some more treasure, and then move on. We'll have some decent... Oh, right! This was a place that didn't have any good chainmail vests in it, Tim. But you haven't been to this location, so go up there instead. Yeah, this place had other equipment in it. Alright, everyone. Alright, well, that'll do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see everyone later. Take care, everyone.